Forensic anthropologist Tim Thompson is examining the Stonehenge remains to try to extract the secrets of Stone Age cremation. When we use this method on cremated bone, we can determine the fine microstructure of that material. And by doing that, that allows us to determine how much change has occurred due to the burning process. And that allows us to get a sense of the temperature and the conditions of the pyre that these people would put on. What the analysis reveals is extraordinary. Neolithic cremations were ferociously hot. These individuals have been burnt at an incredibly high temperature, at least 700 degrees, possibly as much as 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's what you'd expect if an individual had died in an average house fire. The Neolithic people who carried out this process were living at a time when life was so basic, they weren't even using metal for their tools. Yet, they were able to produce temperatures of 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit just as hot as in cremations today. How could a primitive community, equipped only with Stone Age technology, achieve such searing temperatures? Osteoarchaeologist and cremation expert, Jackie McKinley, wants to figure out how Neolithic mourners reached this blistering heat on their pyres, using only the resources available in the Stone Age. She's chosen a mix of trees that are known to have grown in Neolithic Britain and begins to build up a stable framework. It's no good just piling all along there like a bonfire. It has to be a structure, otherwise it won't function and do the job that it's intended to do. A thermal imaging camera and a high temperature probe will capture the progress of the inferno. In order to effectively test her method of cremation, Jackie's going to burn the carcass of a pig. In terms of size and um, general sort of structure, the pig is supposed to be the closest thing to a human being. All right, guys. Within 10 minutes, the body is ablaze. As the fire takes hold, temperatures rocket. We've got two thermocouples here, so I'm reading from, oh gosh, that's 926 degrees centigrade at the top there. That is a pretty efficient amount of heat that is being produced there. That is equivalent to what you would get in a modern crematorium. The pyre is now burning at the equivalent of 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. The team has succeeded in achieving extraordinary temperatures using only Neolithic materials. Yeah. But it hasn't been an easy process. Cremation is a mode of disposal of the dead. It takes a lot of resources. It takes at least half a ton of wood. It is not a cheap option. To create a fire so powerful would have taken a huge amount of time and effort. Could the Stonehenge site have been reserved for the cremation and burial of a select few? Members of society who were somehow special and given the Neolithic equivalent of a state funeral. It seems the perfect theory to explain why this location became a mecca for Neolithic pilgrims and the eventual site of such an impressive monument. But there's one big problem. The cremated bones might have been buried here but there's no evidence that this landscape ever hosted cremations. So where did these remains come from?